Hello, my name is Cider, and I usually make Cytron's music and Cytron sounds, but today I'm going to show you how to make a cat sound. Well, I usually don't do videos, I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm recording this from my phone. I hope it's good enough for you to understand how everything's being done. And I hope it's going to be useful to you and you're going to have as much fun as I had with this patch. It's hilarious. And so let me say that I'm using HydroSync, in this case HydroSync Explorer. You can probably use other synthesizers in VSTs, but I don't know how you're going to get one of the most important parts and this is Okay, let's initialize the patch and this is our waveform and the waveform I'm using for this patch is Newton 7 do you see the shape of this wave it's brilliant I love this one of my favorite shapes favorite waves it's like a squarey so wavy it has this small curvature here it uh, yeah, it's like kind of like SH-101 type of wave, it sounds like this. It's kind of between square and saw, but it also has its own character. So this is my wave of choice. I've tried it with some other waves and the results are not so good. But if you can get close to this one, you can probably get similar results maybe even better so feel free to experiment so this is the wave we're gonna need and the second thing we're gonna need which is really important that is the mutant and we're gonna use sync gonna put it at 100 percent wet and we're gonna turn the depth to zero because we're gonna modulate this with other stuff and also we're gonna modulate the ratio like if you hear what the ratio is doing gives this kind of throaty sound, makes it more sound like a, like a organic sound and the depth is going to give us the screechiness that, that the cat voice has Wow! Wow! So these two parameters are going to be modulated a lot and we're gonna have some filter movements and that's it basically so it's not a complicated patch but let's start making it so we're gonna use 745 and gonna modulate the mutants uh, the mutants depth and no pardon me Mutants ratio. So, if you don't know how to do this patch, I am looking at my notes, so forgive me. It might take some time for me to check those stuff. So, okay, so we're gonna do the ratio as I saw is this 40 sound, but we don't want it a lot, like a tiny amount gives us enough of this uh, movement we need so if you can hear oh, i think that's too much no that's because we didn't change the other four and what we want is a smooth random a smooth random but too much so it's all about fine tuning. Okay. Okay, this gives us this waviness of that sound. And then we're going to do our envelopes and filters. Okay, so my filter of choice is the FAT24. And 
I've tried with other filters, it's also okay, but up to you, you can choose any filters you want, experiment, that's not a must. So I'm gonna move the cutoff to zero, because it's gonna be modulated. And we need some resonance, like about there. And we're going to use LFO1, no, no, envelope 1. So the envelope 1, we're going to give it a little bit of attack, about there. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going to need a big decay to throw the sustain. So big decay of about. 0.6 but this decay this decay is going to be controlled with velocity so it's gonna get our velocity modulator to control the Filter one, no envelope one, decay, and we want it to go smaller as stronger as we press. So, what is it? We need about minus forty. Yeah, let's hear it. It's all about fine tuning, so. If I press it hard, it's short. If I press it slow, then yeah, we get this long sound. Okay, so we got our velocity done, and now we're gonna use our second envelope to control. Let's assign it to control the mutant depth, and this is about the screeching. So we're gonna do this at 40. It's same like fine tuning, so you don't want it to be too screechy, you will see like, like this, like too much. Like it doesn't sound like, like organic. This is okay. Okay, this is kind of okay. We can fine tune it later even more if we want to. And we need to change the envelope though. So we want a big attack. Well, not that big. Not too big, too big. Yeah, if you can see when I press it fast, you get short sound. If I press it slower, you get this long meow sound. Okay, yeah, meow. Let's make the sound. So, yeah, we're nearly there. Uh, what's left? We did the envelope shape. Wait, did you assign? Yeah, let's check on it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so what's that? Sounds pretty good already. Okay, ah, we can do some EQing because when I look at this sound on the spectrogram, it's ranging a lot at 200, uh, 2500 hertz, which is the sensitive part of our ears. This is something I know from Dash Glitch, who is an amazing YouTuber who taught me a lot. And like this is the area where our ring, where our ears perceive the frequency is very 
uh, they are very sensitive to the frequencies in this range and probably that's why this sound sounds to us like uh, more organic and gives us this alarming feeling so anyway but it's peaking a lot there so we will want to control it a little bit so what i'm going to do i'm going to move move it to about here and i want to like dump it down so it doesn't can you hear how it rings when it's here so yeah Yeah, sounds much cleaner. And you can of course experiment, do more stuff, improve it, just like the basis, the foundation of this sound. It's all about having fun. It's not a serious patch anyway. Um something else you can do is probably you can use aftertouch if you're doing it with hydro sand is mono but we want let's go for poly what if we want to make a lot of cat scream we can make eight cats yelling at each other or yelling at our neighbors so we want to do we need to turn to one the depth so let's make it screeching the more we are pressing the Button, but not a lot because do you remember if we make that modulation too too big it doesn't sound like a like a cat it sounds more like a synth sound okay okay Okay, uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. Hope you find this useful. Hope you're having a lot of fun. Hope you annoy your pets. Annoy them back if they annoy you. Or if you don't have a pet, well, now you've made one. So, have a good day and see you later. Bye.